Gaming Division. Salutations! Hi, I'm Camera, and welcome to Gaming Division. I was lucky enough to get a hold of the Battlestar Galactica board game because I thought it was rare. Apparently, there's some kind of new revival printing because people have it now. Um, but I was so excited when I saw that, I was like, I must have this. Plus, I like owning games that I'm going to play on stream, and that's the idea that I, that will be a game that I can get some people to play because it is super interesting. So, ta-da! I have the, it doesn't say it up here, the Daybreak expansion the Pegasus expansion, which I'm especially excited about because you can airlock people. <laughs> um, now, because the XO is wearing an eye patch in Daybreak, we're going to do that one last. But I'm going to try to show off uh, the pieces as we go, if I'm at all good at this. Let's get this open. Of the same quality cardboard we had from Thunderstone. Uh, no pop. Uh, of course, because it's Fantasy Flight, we get a little pamphlet telling us to be able to play all their own games. Uh, we just set that gently aside. Of course, you get your nice book. What worries me is this, this is about half as big as the, the other rule book that I still have to read through. Um, so hopefully, I can go through here and find some key points later. We get more cardboard. Um, this looks like we have Cylon locations now. Uh, Resurrection ship, Cylon fleet, human fleet, Caprica. So there are some interesting things already. Uh, of course, we can see characters from the show later on. Um, we've got some Cylons that look suspiciously like they're supposed to go in standees. Um, right here. I cannot for the life of me remember who this one is or why she would have a separate token like that. Um, that looks like the old, old toaster. Um, that popped right out. So on New Caprica, you're going to have more worker placement spaces that you can put your characters to have them do things on your turn. You're also going to have the Pegasus because this is the Pegasus expansion. Um, airlock, CIC, uh, main batteries, and engine room. So there are going to be things you can do. I don't know if you need to shuttle back and forth between the two ships, because the Battlestar Galactica obviously is going to still be there, and then the Pegasus ship is going to be there as well. Um, and it makes me curious, because that means that you have to transfer them into the Peg Pegasus to get airlocked. Um, Again, very, very curious. Um, it looks like there are, it's like almost like the barbarians from uh, Catan. It looks like there's three silent spots and they're going to lock uh, civilian ships down. Whatever that actually means. Uh, I'm going to put this stuff over here for right now. Mm. Camera placement is a thing you do. I'll put that right there. Uh, this is exciting because I know there's something there, but it's not nearly as big. These are, or this is, this is rather, am I wrong? I think it goes like that. Um, the Cylon bases. I'll confirm that in a minute. Uh, we'll stick that right there. I like. I just like it's a 3D model. I'm a miniatures guy with this down to. I hate painting them, but they're fun. Uh, Helena Kane is a, a new character along with. I guess I gotta be the Pegasus crew members. In fairness, I think I remember D being on the Battle or the Galactica, Batman on the Galactica, uh, Ellen Ty. Uh, 
Oh, some of these may be Africans. That may be what it is. Um, I don't remember where he came from. I just know he's crazy in Caprica 6. Which we know she's a Cylon. So how does her character function? Maybe she's the original. Maybe that's, that's the idea there. more tiny horrible cards. We've got gray events, we've got blue things, red things, yellow things, purple things, orange, orange things, uh, brown things maybe. Um, and then New Caprica has its own tiny little card, um, which is interesting. I hate these, but they're necessary and you can just add these into the, the normal stock is my understanding. Um, and then we have more these are strategy cards. I don't know what you call them. These are the ones that you're you're voting on to make happen. So that's the one that's like it takes seven yellows and purples to, to make happen. Um, so yeah, so just lots more of these. Um, blatant execute prisoner. I don't know if that's in the first one or not, but uh, I'm assuming that it was a mechanic. Oh well, this is prisoners, not oh. Let me read the card. Choose a character in the brig. The character is executed, then discard this card. So, character drew players. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh, man. And there are what looks like objective cards. Am I wrong? Is that what these are? Yeah. So, you win the game if the humans have won and population and mortal values are within two of each other. So these, I think, are supposed to be secret objective cards. Um, and they've got that for backing. Um, so these are for the silence, I think. If they meet these objectives, then... Um, or if the player... Maybe it's just the players. I'll have to look. Make sure. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, okay, so these are added to the original game. Um, there's an infiltration card, a Cylon card, a you were not a Cylon card, and a sympathetic Cylon. So this is probably the one where it's like, hey, I'm a Cylon, but I'm on the human team. Uh, but the humans don't like me because they hit their own objectives. They don't hit Cylons. Um, I'm getting actively excited to play this game. Um, let's go ahead and look at the other batch. Yeah. And we'll see how this goes. Ever since I played Risk of Legacy, I always want to check under things. The Fantasy Flight packages, their box is strange, but I do like that they're standardized, so I'm really torn. Uh, Alright, so let's look at Daybreak. Daybreak. <laughs> I can sit there and do that for an hour. Coming through trash. Ah, the garbage is attacking. Okay, let's see if we can get a pop out of this one. It's not heavy though. Almost. Really close. Again, you get another fantasy flight packet of stuff that you gently place to the side. You do not throw across the room and all haphazardly. An expansion. Um, on the back, it references Ex Exodus. 
so I'll have to figure out what that is. Okay, so of course you can fancy rule book. This one's a little thicker than Pegasus was, uh, which concerns me because it's a lot of stuff I can learn now. Um, Half tempted to just chew on this for real. I don't want to damage the board. Smarter than you can work hard. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Okay. So we actually have two new ship locations. We have the Rebel Battle Star, Base Star, Base Star. The silent ones are Base Stars, and the Demetrius, which I cannot remember for the life of me what it was from the show. <laughs> The point is we have more locations, more things we can do, um, depending upon whether or not you're a Cylon or, or what. Or what. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we get more characters this time. Um, looks like Doc's finally in it. I don't know why he was an, an early character. You need a heal, right? Right? Guy's Baltar, Roman Lampkin. I think some of these are reprints. Leodama. Yeah, I'm wondering. Hilo. Hoshi. Zark. Zarek. Doral. O'Neill. Beers and uh, Athena. Is that subtle enough? Just do a crazy pregnant wink at the camera. Camera sake, so it's th these disconnected for some reason. Um, we've got hub destroyed and Cylon locations. Uh, more places to put things down, it looks like. Um, and then I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the um, what's it called? Uh, Fleet Colonial One. It's on the back. So this is the president's ship. Um, so it has the, her office, press room. Quorum chamber, chamber administration. Um, so with that, let me get the rest of this card with that. All right, we got our fun characters there. And these things that are not cards for anything. I'm not sure what they are, but, but, I'm sure it'll be interesting. We've got all our characters who obviously build standees, and we've got a couple that have uh, discs. And I'm not sure what the discs are. I'm going to find out, though. I promise. You. Uh, okay. So for miniatures in this, it looks like um, the Cylons have more stuff they can do, which they, that's what they needed. Better ways to kill us. Um, we've got these little miniatures focus on the miniature focus oh there's Cylons they walk around um, and then you've got what looks like the transport ships for humans but with cyclone missile launchers on top um,
so uh, to me that means that there's going to be ways that you can do actual boarding uh, scenarios. Let's do little cards first. Not so many of these, which I'm fine with because we've honestly got probably enough of them. Um, more blues, more greens, more reds, purples, browns, and orange. Lots of them. And a card for Earth. <laughs> that is supposed to be on silent. Uh, we're off. I've been filming too long. <laughs> okay. So we've got more attack event cards. We've got more Bodhi scenario cards. Different things that could happen. I don't really know what the difference is for these. Oh, these are like action cards. Okay. So we got some more commands or whatever that you can do. I need to learn how to play this game. I'm so excited. So excited. Um, so these are more like vote cards, but I don't know why they have a different back end. Um, they may be for the like the Cylon ship, based on the, the chamber that's there on the back. Um, and then we have another infiltration card, um, a mutineer card, so you can be a human who's not with anyone, uh, and then you are not a Cylon, which is always a refreshing message. I should just walk up to people and say that, you are not a Cylon. I wonder if it would uh, make them feel any more at ease. Um, I didn't really use this so much. But uh, if you look here, this is all different stuff uh, that you end up getting. Um, some of it's kind of stacked up. But uh, there's a lot of it. There's a lot to be said about wh how much stuff comes in these. Uh, even if they don't fill this full box. If I understand Flight likes to skew the standard size. And then they make an insert. Uh, and they put whatever they can in the middle. Um, it gives it a nice presentation. It gives it a standard size. Uh, but I'm very torn about whether I like the standardized size more than I like that they're wasting volume in the, in the box, especially since that's how they do shipping now. Um, because you can only fit so many things on the truck. It doesn't matter if it weighs one pound. If it's five foot cubed, it's going to take up that much space. Um, but this has been an unboxing for uh, Battlestar Galactica Pegasus and Daybreak. Uh, I will have to go find out if there's another one called Exodus that I'm missing, but I'm super excited for all this, um, and until you see me next time, that's game over. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go to click the annotations and they'll take you to our other channels. Thanks for watching.